when I close, close After an almost five year long refit, we recently left Marina Chiapas on our fast and cool trimaran hot sauce. And so far, it has taken us 2000 nautical miles to beautiful Sierra Cortez and Baja California. Think that you are no longer with me. So, first morning here in Agua Verde, it was a good night and um, I've just been editing the, the video, it's a super fresh video I'm releasing right now actually, uh, probably the one you just saw, uh, the previous one. Um, so the only thing you don't have cell coverage when you're sailing around here in the Sierra Cortez. You only have it in like in the cities. And there's very few cities here if you look on the map. But one ex exception is here. It's not a. It's more like a village here, and they have a small, small beach restaurant here, and they're offering uh, Wi-Fi for a small fee, but still very good. And uh, so I uploaded a YouTube video here a couple of months ago, and it was pretty good. So I'm gonna go in there, have a lunch I think, or something to drink at least, and uh, upload the video. And I need to download some uh, other things, and I don't have any recipe for banana cake. I have like these really good and ripe bananas, and I'm gonna make a banana and chocolate cake. Yeah, sometimes you're having too much time on board, yeah, you know, so... Um Yeah, one particular thing that's always associated when you're cruising on a sailboat is making bonfires. And I haven't made a bonfire now since we started. But today I have good hope. We're planning to do a bonfire up, uh, up on the beach, but we'll see if we find enough with uh, material to burn. That's the question. But uh, yeah, we're heading over there soon and um, hopefully we'll get a good time. I hope. Um, Marco is bringing his guitar because that's like a half that's like one of the most important things for a bonfire it's the, the guitar oh my heart what you tremble and shake my whole life will be frozen late I will be lost without your love Yes, indeed, baby. But as I get older, I believe Lowe's goes from to really mean and only the lucky one known. And like most folks, Lord, I see why the chance you can't get passes by you just go about it alone. Yeah, it's a choice some people choose wrong. Can't you see, can't you see? Rain all day and I really, really don't mind. Can't you see, can't you see? We gotta wake up slow. Yeah, I got a good last night at uh, Aga Verde with a bonfire and guitar playing. and Yeah, it's super nice. Uh, today I didn't really know what to do. I went in and did some small shopping, bought some tomato, some bread, and you know, just some basic stuff. Now we have an opportunity. And uh, then I went over to the boat, didn't really know if I was gonna leave or not. But then I saw another boat that left Anchorage and seemed to sail in the direction I wanted. So I just, yeah! Because first it didn't seem to be a lot of wind today. I mean, 
sometimes it's hard knowing what's out there actually but when I saw that boat uh, actually sailing um, I thought hey let's leave and uh, yeah it's pretty nice condition so far I've been out for maybe an hour and I've been doing between uh, five and seven knots and it's this super calm and super flat right right now we're doing 5.8 yeah, and my next anchorage will be Candaleros Chico. It's a very small bay, room for one or two boats, I think. So it might be not be even possible for me to go in there if it's um, some boats there already. But we'll see. Otherwise, I'll just take the next bay. What can I say? We've been going like in one, one and a half knot for the last hour at least, yeah. Yeah, maybe the wind just picked up a little bit. Nah, no, not really. We have about three miles left, so but I'm not in a rush to really to get there, so we should be there soon. Hopefully the wind picks up. That's usually what it does uh, at this time of the day. So yeah, just like normal, the wind just shifts during the day. So but yeah, it's it's nice. It's beautiful. Just um, watching the surroundings. Yeah, it's been a pretty nice anchorage, I have to say. Especially this night, it was super calm. So I slept very good. Um, my plan was more or less to be here one night, I think. I haven't really decided. But now I'm all alone in the bay. So that's pretty nice too. So we'll see, I might uh, head to the other bay, but it's just like three miles there. So it's a pretty short, uh, so I can decide that in la like last minute. I forgot my flip-flops to walk on the beach, so it's a little bit hard to walk here now. So I'm not gonna do any hike. Although it's not very far over to the boat, you see. <laughs> but I'm lazy. Um, yeah, it's a nice place. I mean, I saw this super big um, eagle ray, and that was that was the that was the best part of this anchorage so far, and uh, it came up very close. Yeah, it's a short sail today, three miles like I said, yeah. And we're going uh, between this island here and the mainland. So I guess we need to jive pretty soon. Yeah, it's quite windy. It's been gusting up to like 27, 28 knots maybe. Um, yeah, I wasn't expecting this, uh, but yeah. Uh, anyhow, um, the wind is so so hot, you know. So the the wind doesn't like, doesn't cool you down. It comes down from the mountain, from the desert, and it just hits you, and it's super warm. You know, I've been complaining so much. I haven't been able to be outside in the in the evenings. And uh, that has been because it's so cold wind, but you know, and this is called the dragon's breath here in the summer. So this, this is going to be pretty normal. Yeah, it's a pretty easy sail today. Uh, it's flat water more or less, maybe, um, I don't know, 10 knots. A um, little bit from behind. So it's, um, yeah, these days are pretty nice every now and then. You don't need, always need to do 10, 11 knots. This can be pretty nice, you know, with a six knots, with uh, just a small breeze.
so quiet. Just told the, turn the water maker off and the engine off. This is what it should sound like, you know, just the wind. You hear the flag flapping a little bit. Yeah, it's pretty nice. And the sea is like a mirror. And we're doing four and a half knots, I think. It's not a very long sail left. I think we have about uh, four and a half miles, so should be there in an hour. of the island here and when we pass that one we will go upwind a little bit more and that's when we see the rocket um, uh, phenomenon on this boat so right now we're sailing at about a 90 degree apparent and we'll probably head up to begin with maybe 60 degree apparent and then we'll probably need to um, go up even further and we might need to, to tack as well to get into Balandra Bay but uh, yeah right now we're doing between uh, eight knots and I'm expecting about 11, 12 knots when we're uh, passing that point there. Maybe the wind is about just to shift, or we're just in a vortex. Don't know really. Because um, it went down from, and we went up on 13 knots, and, and I decided to reef, and we're doing about 10, and then it dropped to about 7. And now we drop down to like one and a half knots, it's like no wind. Well, it says it's four or five knots. Uh, not a lot, but the, the wind might just be around the corner. It might be that it's, uh, these big um, um, rocks, mountains here is um, shading the, um, um, the wind. So we'll see. You want the, uh, the wind direction, the angle uh, shifted a lot. So I changed my course like almost 90 degree and uh, we'll see if it's gonna um we're gonna hold this uh, wind angle and otherwise i need to um i need to tack easterly winds now i wasn't expecting that it's not so super common but it might have been um it changed direction when it funnels through the through the mountains so uh anyhow i still have clearance but uh, yeah you like you see i'm pretty close to the <laughs> to the rocks and the reefs behind me but as long as close is just close enough um, I've just been down snorkeling and it was pretty nice it was a nice scenery I went outside of them of the bay and I see a couple of uh, eagle rays and plenty of fish I saw one turtle and uh, yeah so a super big lobster here and um, I saw a couple of uh, stingrays so it's pretty nice and the visibility was um, pretty, pretty good, I have to say.
I decided it was time to head back to Sweden, so I booked a flight for next week. So instead of Karen joining me on the boat, I'm heading to her instead. Yesterday I took um, down the, um, the head sail and the main sail and folded it and it all went good. So it's a little bit of a tricky part when you're on your own and you do it, it um, on board as well. Yeah, it feels a little bit unreal. Um, leaving a hot sauce. Uh, it was a not super duper fast um, uh, decision, but uh, it's been growing a little bit. And um, yeah, we'll see when I'm getting back here again. Uh, might be like in October. Mm -hmm. 